India is the first country in the world to land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole, a moment of history for the country. Chandrayaan 3's successful landing near the moon's south pole was celebrated worldwide until disturbing data started streaming back. Beneath the lunar surface, unexpected thermal and seismic anomalies revealed a vast, mysterious lattice-like structure, unlike anything natural. Now, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist warns this could be artificial, an ancient, dormant system potentially still active. The implications are staggering. A silent, hidden force beneath the moon that might be watching us reacting to our presence, or even posing unknown risks. This discovery shakes everything we thought about our closest celestial neighbor and forces humanity to confront a cosmic mystery far beyond our control. Chandrayaan 3's historic landing and initial triumph. In August 2023, India made history again when its Chandrayaan 3 mission successfully landed near the moon's south pole, a region that had long fascinated scientists but remained largely unexplored. This landing was no small feat. The South Pole is permanently cloaked in shadow, cold and mysterious, making it one of the toughest spots for a soft touchdown. Yet Chandrayaan-3, with its Vikram lander and Pragyan rover, accomplished this with remarkable precision. This achievement put India firmly on the map as a major player in lunar exploration. The Pragyan rover was equipped with advanced instruments designed to study the lunar surface and subsurface. These tools scan the regolith, analyzing mineral composition, temperature change, and seismic activity. Early reports from Pragyan were promising. The instruments confirmed the presence of water ice pockets beneath the surface, a discovery that raised hopes for future lunar colonization and resource use. Scientists worldwide celebrated this as a big win for science and technology. The mission's landing site provided a unique window into one of the moon's most enigmatic regions. The South Pole's permanent shadows mean that some areas have never been touched by sunlight, preserving ice and other materials in pristine condition. Studying this area could reveal clues about the moon's formation, its geologic history, and even the early solar system. As the data started pouring in, excitement grew among space agencies and researchers eager to unlock these secrets. The world watched as India's space program achieved a monumental leap forward. Chandrayaan 3's success wasn't just about technology, it was about pushing human boundaries, exploring the unknown, and inspiring millions. As one scientist said, this mission reminds us that even in our closest celestial neighbor, there's still so much we don't know. But beneath this initial triumph, something unexpected was about to shake our understanding of the moon forever. While the world celebrated this landmark success, Pragan's instruments began detecting anomalies beneath the lunar surface, signs that didn't fit the patterns scientists had expected. What started as small irregularities soon grew into something far more puzzling. This discovery would challenge everything we thought we knew about the moon, unsettling anomalies beneath the lunar surface. Shortly after the landing, the Pragyan rover began conducting its detailed thermal and seismic scans. Instead of steady, predictable readings, the instruments picked up strange thermal patterns deep below the regolith, the layer of dust and fragmented rock covering the moon. These weren't random fluctuations, they were organized, repeating signatures that defied known lunar geology. It was as if something below was breathing in a rhythmic way, unlike anything natural. Using its ground-penetrating radar, Pragyan mapped a vast structure beneath the surface, a lattice-like formation stretching several meters and extending beyond the immediate landing zone. Unlike typical mineral deposits, this formation displayed sharp geometric regularity. Its symmetry was precise, too orderly to be the result of natural impacts or volcanic activity. Scientists soon realized that this was no ordinary lunar feature. Attempts to explain the structure as a geological phenomenon failed. The patterns were too consistent, the scale too large and interconnected. Researchers turned to every known model of lunar geology but found no match. It was as if the moon was hiding something beneath its surface, a massive network that didn't belong to any natural process. The more data collected, the deeper the mystery grew. The scientific community found itself at a crossroads. This discovery suggested either a radically new form of lunar geology or something altogether different, something that might challenge the basic assumptions about the moon's nature. As one lunar expert put it, we thought the moon was a dead, inert rock. Now it's telling us a very a different story, one we weren't prepared for. As news of these baffling findings spread, the scientific world sought expert analysis to make sense of what Chandrayaan-3 had uncovered. And then, 
A Nobel Prize winning physicist stepped forward with a warning that would turn the mystery into a matter of global concern. The Nobel laureate's alarming analysis. After studying the data from Chandrayaan-3, a Nobel Prize winning physicist known for groundbreaking work on gravitational resonance and space-time topology, issued a public statement that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. His analysis suggested the lattice-like structure beneath the lunar surface could be artificial, potentially the remnants of an ancient, non-human technology. The thermal harmonics recorded weren't just random energy pulses. They indicated a dormant energy system with fluctuating activity, possibly linked to exotic physics like superconductivity. Given the moon's extremely low temperatures in the shadowed South Pole, this system might exploit cryogenic conditions to sustain unique physical phenomena. In other words, the moon might be hosting an advanced, cold-powered technology that has remained inactive until now. The physicist urged space agencies worldwide to take the findings seriously. He warned of unknown risks, emphasizing that this dormant system could be reactivated by continued exploration or human presence. We must proceed with caution, he said. This is not just a scientific curiosity, but a matter that could have profound implications for future missions and safety. This public warning prompted urgent calls for increased monitoring and international cooperation. The Nobel laureate's words transformed Chandrayaan 3's discovery from a lunar science breakthrough into a pressing cosmic enigma, one that challenges humanity's assumptions and demands careful, coordinated attention. With such serious implications, the discovery sparked a wave of global interest and collaboration, setting the stage for new missions and renewed debates about the moon's secrets and humanity's future in space. Implications for lunar science and solar system. History, this unexpected discovery forces scientists to rethink everything we believed about the moon. For decades, the moon was seen as a quiet, lifeless rock, an inert satellite circling Earth. But if this lattice-like structure is indeed artificial, it hints at a level of sophistication far beyond natural processes. What does it mean if something built this? Could it be evidence of an ancient civilization or a cosmic event predating Earth itself? The possibility shakes the foundation of our solar system's history. The moon may be more than a witness to the solar system's past. It could be a custodian of secrets we've never imagined, said one expert. The uniformity and scale of the structure suggest it was designed for long-term stability. It might be a kind of observatory or data archive, carefully preserved in the cold shadows of the South Pole. This challenges the idea that intelligent life is limited to Earth and raises the question of whether the moon was part of a broader cosmic network. With these profound implications, space agencies worldwide quickly took notice. What started as a mission success turned into an urgent global priority, pushing nations to unite in the face of the unknown. International Response and Collaboration Following the startling revelation, ISRO didn't work alone. Recognizing the importance of this discovery, it coordinated with NASA, ESA, and other major space agencies to pool resources and expertise. Satellites already orbiting the moon were redirected to focus on the South Pole. New instruments were tasked with capturing higher resolution images and additional data to better understand the structure and its surroundings. Plans for follow-up missions accelerated. Robotic probes aimed at further exploration are being fast-tracked, and even talks of crewed lunar missions to investigate this anomaly have gained traction. Governments are treating this as a matter of both scientific and strategic importance. Behind the scenes, classified discussions reportedly focus on evaluating potential security risks. With such an unknown and possibly active structure beneath the surface, agencies want to be prepared for any scenario. The moon's shadowed regions have suddenly become the most watched and studied locations in space. While agencies ramp up efforts to explore and understand Concerns about safety and the unknown risks have also grown. The discovery isn't just exciting, it's raising serious questions about what dangers might lie beneath the lunar surface. Potential dangers and unknown risks. The Nobel laureate's warning wasn't just about the discovery's wonder, it was about potential threats. The fluctuating energy patterns suggest the system could be more than a relic. It might be a dormant technology or a monitoring device still awake in some form. There is fear that this structure could trigger radiation bursts or electromagnetic disturbances that might interfere with satellites, spacecraft, 
or even Earth's communications. This could complicate future lunar missions and put astronauts at risk. Some scientists worry that the structure might react to human activity. Chandrayaan 3's landing may have awakened it, crossing a threshold that triggered subtle responses. If so, further exploration might risk activating unknown systems. The potential consequences extend beyond the moon, with concerns about disruptions reaching Earth's near space environment. This calls for extreme caution. As one scientist put it, we are stepping into a realm where curiosity must be balanced with respect for the unknown. These risks add a heavy layer to the philosophical quest questions the discovery raises. Beyond science, this finding forces humanity to reflect on its place in a universe that may be far more interconnected and modern than we realize. Philosophical and existential questions. Raise this discovery reopens age-old questions about extraterrestrial intelligence and humanity's role in the cosmos. If this is evidence of ancient technology or a cosmic network, it suggests we are not mere observers, but part of a larger story. The idea that the moon could house non-human technology challenges our understanding of life, intelligence, and history. What does it mean if we are being watched or have inherited a legacy left by others? Such questions push beyond science into philosophy and spirituality. This forces us to reconsider ideas about origin, purpose, and cosmic interconnectedness. As one a philosopher noted, the moon may be a silent sentinel, a cosmic archive, or a guardian of knowledge waiting for us to prove worthy. The discovery invites humility. It reminds us that despite our advances, we remain small players in a vast, mysterious universe filled with wonders beyond our comprehension. As humanity grapples with these big questions, it's a gateway to mysteries that could reshape our future. What Chandrayaan 3's discovery means for humanity. Researchers are now turning to machine learning and advanced analytics to decode the rhythmic pulses and harmonic signals recorded beneath the lunar surface. Future lunar missions will focus not only on exploration, but on interpretation, searching for signs of communication or system activity embedded in the patterns. This discovery is already changing mission design philosophies. Scientists want to integrate linguistic analysis, cryptography, and, is, and complex system models to understand what the moon might be saying. This moment marks a turning point. Humanity must decide whether to proceed cautiously or boldly toward the unknown. The moon is no longer a simple satellite, but a cosmic mystery that could redefine our understanding of life, history, and our place in the universe. Chandrayaan 3's revelation is more than a lunar breakthrough. It's a cosmic alarm that challenges our understanding of the moon and our place in the universe. What was once a lifeless satellite now appears to hide secrets of immense complexity and possible ancient origin. The Nobel laureate's warning underscores the urgent need for caution, collaboration, and respect as we probe deeper into this mystery. As space agencies worldwide redirect their eyes and instruments toward the moon's shadowed South Pole, humanity stands at a crossroads. Do we proceed boldly, risking the unknown, or tread carefully, mindful of forces we barely understand? This discovery reshapes the future of lunar exploration, blending science with philosophy and sparking new questions about intelligence, history, and cosmic purpose. Ultimately, Chandrayaan 3's mission reminds us that the universe still holds unimaginable secrets, waiting silently beneath the surface, calling us to listen, learn, and perhaps to reconsider what it truly means to explore. The moon may no longer be just our nearest neighbor, but a gateway to cosmic truths that could forever change humanity's story.